Vermont, one of the 12 states voting on the Democratic side today, and here's Bernie Sanders voting in Burlington this morning. Sanders supporters, they're hoping that's not the only state he's able to carry today. Bernie also polled pretty well in neighboring Massachusetts, but the rest of the states could be an uphill battle for him. So is tonight the night that Hillary basically shakes off Bernie? I, I think, Mike, that there is a few avenues where he can make a compelling argument. Obviously, he's going to win Vermont. Between Massachusetts, Colorado, Minnesota, some combination, if he can win a couple of them, he makes a compelling argument that he's reaching a part of the party here um, that she still has. So take Vermont off the table. Of course he's going to win Vermont. Um, and Vermont's not going to show you anything about his ability to forge a coalition. Any other state he's won so far would. He might win Oklahoma. Um, he's polling well in Oklahoma. I don't know that he's going to win Massachusetts. He seems to be making a play for Minnesota, even if he does that. So what has Bernie Sanders been able to do in this race? Actually run up, win states that are 85% white plus. You cannot be the Democratic I'm, I'm nominee. You, you cannot be the Democratic <laughs> nominee uh, with that kind of uh, record. And so I think tonight is the night in which folks in your business will finally sort of start looking at him as sort of, you know, Mike Huckabee, last cycle who hung on until the very end, but really was no longer a contender in the race. Bernie's not a contender. That being said, his contribution to this race has been immense because if you've watched Hillary Clinton actually evolve as a candidate in the course of this race, but for Bernie Sanders, we'd have a very flawed candidate, uh, who, uh, sort of some really rusty on the campaign side going into a general election, and but for the laps that he has made her run, I think we have a better ca candidate yeah, at this point. I, I always hear, Mike, before campaign campaigns, and I'm not ever sure it's rationalizations or whatever, or just convenient logic. We want a tough primary. It'll toughen up uh, the nominee come the general. Do people really buy that? Would they rather run on a post? Well, generally, so no, people would rather run on a post. No question about that. Anyone who tells that is, yeah. you know, BS. But in this case, look, I think we saw in the very beginning, she got caught flat-footed when the emails, when the server first came up. I mean, I remember that first press conference at the UN where she tried to address it. She really didn't do a very good nope. job about it. It took her a long time to get a message tried. In fact, she's only really got her message down pat in the last 30 days. And so in this case, I think for her, someone who's been out of electoral politics for close six years, uh, so I think that was a really good thing for her. Uh, granted, I'm sure she didn't want it. I'm sure that, you know, the super PACs backing her didn't want to have to spend money early early on in, in a primary process, but I think for her sake and for the party's sake, I actually think Bernie Sanders did her a big favor. The, the only minor disagreement I have to what Mike said, I don't think Bernie becomes Huckabee at this point after tonight. <coughs> I think he's more like where Clinton was throughout much of the primary process in 2008. Clinton won more states. She, no, I know, but but she, he's going to be, he's going to stay fairly close in delegates, not counting the super delegates. So mathematically, he'll still be sort of at her heels, but I think at that point, that, that's really the closest he gets. and and. It'll well, be the obvious. The question for me is, does Hillary, does, does Sanders become almost a surrogate for her? Or does she say, forget this, I'm, I'm in this thing tooth and nail to show the differences between the two of us, Dom? I mean, he can make things difficult for her or he can make things easy for her. Which way does he go? I mean, it's also, it's not like he's running for the next race. This is it. I, I believe after tonight, <clears throat> the attacks on Hillary uh, will stop. It is over tonight. I mean, we can sugarcoat it all. We, it was over in South Carolina. The handwriting was on the wall. What's remarkable about Bernie Sanders, I, I see some opposition on the other side, but what's remarkable about Bernie Sanders, he's a man historically that actually marched with Dr. King, but yet when it comes to the base of the Democratic Party, he cannot make because a connection too much equity with black with the people. And the Clinton else. name, yes. that's exactly my point. And so Hillary is borrowing a page directly from the Bill Clinton playbook, and that is to wrap yourself with black voters. And one thing I just want to say, I remember when, he, when Clinton ran, he came to New York, this governor from Arkansas, and one of the first things he did was he met with the black press, black reporters. And so she's doing exactly the same thing to build. You're not going to pour dirt on him yet, are you? Not at all. No, I, I don't disagree with anything that either one of them said, but I'd make two points. We're going to have quite a juxtaposition coming up soon. When Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders join hands and endorse Hillary Clinton and the party comes together, that's going to be one visual. And on the other side of the aisle, you're going to have a very different yeah. a very different visual, a schism, if you will. Uh, and I think that's going to be telling. The only other thing I would add, present company excluded, of course, but the media really did the country a disservice in covering this race. I, I would take it a step further than Mike or Dominic. Bernie Sanders never had a chance. Thank Coming you. out of New Hampshire, you. you would have thought that this was going to be a... Com and I said to myself, watching those returns, what other state does this guy win? Yeah. I mean, the media is fawning over them. They're, they're giving 
You poor young kids who don't know any better hope that, you know, grandpa's going to be the nominee. He's got no shot. He's got nowhere else to go and nowhere else to win. And nobody wanted to cover the story. Why? We all know why. Yes. Because you guys all wanted a race to cover. Let's uh, face it. President Company is cool. I got a question, though, Andrew. You look at who's turning out for Trump, and there were lines, apparently, in this Kentucky speech. It was not even voting today, right? Around the corner. I mean, whatever you say, somebody can get five, ten thousand at a clip everywhere he goes, and say nothing when he's there. By the way, mm -hmm. right? How does she get that white middle class disaffected voter? The or a generation ago was that union voter the Democrats counted on. Clearly, that I don't know where where she goes to get that. Even if she's allowed to go more to the middle here after Bernie maybe cools his heels after tonight. That's a that to me is the question. I'm, I'm not sure how she's able to get that group back, I, or if she's able to at all. I think the first thing she's going to do is solidify the base and get the votes that she knows that she has to have, uh, and, and then when she do when she does that, she can try to reach out towards the middle and try to poach those voters. But you know she's she's probably going to lose. I mean, it depends on who she's running against. But male voters, white voters, uh, and suburban middle class voters are just not in the Democratic strike zone right now and haven't been for the last few elections See, and they can go get. I disagree on this because I think at the end of the day sort of the George W. Bush uh, so-called security moms that existed when they have to make a choice between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton on who's got their finger ready to push the button they're not gonna go with. They're gonna, when it comes to security questions I think folks are gonna line up between Clinton. I also think that some of the... Do you think when they go in the booth though Mike most people or a lot of people aren't going to be like, I just want to put my finger in the eye uh, of the machine. Mm -hmm. I don't care who it is, and I want uh, to give them a big a, middle finger a huge, and go for Donald there's Trump. There's going to be a huge sector of the public that does that. But let's remember, we're in a primary process now. We're only the most involved and sort of connected people in the electoral right, process. Well, well that's are actually a perfect involved. segue, because when we come back, I want to know if that's really the case, or maybe if Trump tapped into something that the five of us don't want to admit here. Wait till you see what you're hearing from some of his supporters, not just behaving, acting, and everything else. Is this just the reality TV show generation we're living in? Did he touch on something we don't want to admit is there? We're going to talk about uh, what's really going on with Donald Surge.